you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top budget players under 50K. So, I did originally the top best budget players in general, but that went all the way up to about 100K. And a lot of people are saying, like, for even cheaper teams, the people who really don't have that many coins are just started, like, for this free-to-play weekend or whatever. So people were asking for the top players under 50K. So this doesn't change it tremendously, but it does change the level of overalls I'll be going for and kind of the team construction. It's kind of for, like, the low-budget budget teams. This is, like, some players might not even be the best under 50K, but they will be cheap enough to validate it. So, like, let's say a quarterback at 50K versus a quarterback at 30K. They're very similar. I might go with one at 30K because, obviously, trying to build the cheapest team that can still perform on the field. So that's kind of how I'm going about this. I have my list right here. It's about 10 players, I believe, grand total. Now, before we get into this video, boys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, smack the sub button. We're very close to 8K. We're at about 7,700, boys. Keep it coming. Keep up the support going. And if you haven't already, comment down below what budget players you guys think that you'd want to see on this list for next time. Obviously, this is my list, but there's so many good ones. Like, I, I couldn't even do just 10. Like, there should be more. But I'm doing, I'm keeping, I'm restraining it to 10 and under 50k. If you guys have any solid budget players, comment them down below so I can revise this list for next time. And if you haven't already, also go like the video. Let's get this video to 150 likes, boys. I'd greatly appreciate that. Now, like I always say, likes are the best way to support anyone's channel. Now, let's get into this video. So go over to the auction block. Coming in number 10, right, is a guy that I love as a full legend, but as a power up, he's pretty, pretty solid. Now, this guy's obviously the best defensive tackle in the game, in my opinion, that's affordable. So, if you can get him as his power for 5k, and you power him up with, like, maybe 30k worth of trading, you probably get him to about an 84-85 overall. And I imagine 84-85 overall defensive tackles really, really good, in my personal opinion. So, I have his full legend. So, you can see that he's one of the fastest defensive tackles. He has great block shed, great play rec, great tackling, great move, uh, power move, great finesse. Like, everything around the board for Allen Page is good. So, him or Michael Pierce, are my, in my opinion, are the great, like the best defensive tackle budget ones right now. Michael Pierce is a solid guy right now. Of course, I can't compare for my team. So he's kind of just like an alternate Michael Pierce if you want to keep Michael Pierce because you can power him up and power pass him. And I imagine a lot of you guys still have extra power passes. Michael Pierce is a really good option, but Allen Page 84 would be a great option too. Now, next in this list is a guy that if it was overall budget, he'd probably be number one. But because you can't get him all the way, I think he's still a solid option. Now, Michael Vick. Michael Vick power up right here. You don't have to actually get him. You can just go play the solo challenge. But if you play the solo challenge and you get him for free, you could probably power him up with about 50K worth of training. It's like an 85, 86 overall. So if you can get him that far, you're going to have an 84 overall quarterback. That's going to be pretty fast because this 76 has an 81 speed. So his 84 probably have like an 84, 85 speed with like really decent, maybe mediocre throwing stats. But again, a lot of people want to taste the Vic. And trust me, Vic is really fast. Like, 81 speed already is, like, tied with uh, Steve Young. So if you get him to, like, an 84, 85, he'll be a solid quarterback, or should I say a solid running back. And if you're a running guy to begin with and you don't really pass that much, Vic is a perfect compl complimentary piece. And people have to typically put QB spies on for him. So that will, that, will, that will open up some running lanes with him because since he's they're putting QB spies, it kind of disrupts their whole defensive presence, especially if they abuse someone on the defensive line. So I think Vic powered up to a pretty decently low overall which is a pretty solid budget option now next on this list is another quarterback actually now this quarterback over here for me i think that he has pretty well-rounded stats while still being mobile for not too expensive and the beauty of this card is that you can always power him up to a higher overall since he does have a limited time card it's andrew luck he has a limited time 90 overall card and an 87 so you could probably power this luck up to about an 86 stock or even put him in with this guy but just stock off the bat He's got a 74 speed, which is decently mobile, 80 throw power, 86 throw short, 82 throw mid, 82 throw deep, 82 throw on the run, 79 throw pr under pressure, and 79 play action. This quarterback as a whole is pretty solid. Now, again, the best budget quarterback overall probably be Vic for me, but because you were sticking under 50K, you can't really go much higher with Vic, so you, you kind of need the passing, so that's why Andrew Luck's slightly ahead of him. Now, next is a guy that I really love. I still have on my team. I actually still play him. Even on my God Squad, like he still plays for me. He's my backup strong safety, which plays a lot for me. Jamal Adams. You can probably get this guy for about 34 to under, depending if you filter him out properly. But he has an 82 speed, 81 excel, 85 play rec, 83 pursuit, 80 zone, 86 hit power. It's literally all 80s across the board. Even the man is close. 
you put if you put lockdown on him and you have that on the, your team i don't know if you do he will have above 80 for almost every coverage stat or he will have 80 for every coverage stat so this card as a whole is i think it's a beast if you blitz he plays up man he's decent enough with the budget team his zone's good he can still lay the boom because remember on a budget team it's going to be harder to get high high hit power because that's typically a premium in madden so getting a guy with a high hit power like jamal adams for pretty cheap will be able to give your team a little bit more of a defensive presence now next on this list is another guy that i like he's a strong he's a safety i believe he's a free in this game i mean i don't want to say in this game like he's not usually but i thought he was a strong but malik hooker solid safety what is he a free he's a free this safety right here so he's 41k you probably get him for a little cheaper if you wait on him you wait past 10 30 people start opening some packs vice versa but six foot one so he's already tall 83 speed 85 or so that's already really fast for free safety there's not many free safeties faster than that in this game 85 play rec solid 68 pursuits on the lower side but he has 80 zone and 76 hit power hit power is not too horrible considering this year's though people fumble anyways and he's got 85 play rec 80 zone 83 speed 85 excel i see him as a budget budget earl thomas a little more athletic a little bit taller which makes up for it a little bit and then he's got good play rec like earl thomas and decent zone it, it's not as high as earl but solid and again remember earl thomas isn't a bad option either if you just power pass him and you power him up to like an 83 you can get him i got this earl thomas for like 30k all you gotta do is buy his power up and power him up and then use your power pass so that's still a solid option in my opinion now next in this list is going to be let's see what i got okay i got a right end right here i think his stats for an 83 overall are really solid miles garrett is a pretty good um what's it called defensive end and if you power him up you could even power pass his theme diamond or even just power pass it with training and then you can get an 87 uh miles garrett but just stock his stats are really good 75 speed for a right end and 83 overall on a budget team is really fast 81 excel again really fast on a budget 87 strength 80 play rec and 83 power move so he can still get around the edge again obviously it depends on who you're playing right if you're playing a team like mine or you're playing a top tier offensive lineman that it won't work but again if you're in a budget and you're playing people around your range which that's how madden should match make you he will be really really solid he'll be decent in the run stopping now next is the guy that i've been talking about all year you cannot go wrong with this guy trust me you could probably get his 87 for probably around 50k if you do it right so george kittle george kittle power up now if you look here on the right he has 82 speed 86 catching 81 spec catching 80 run block and that's all you need to know he can catch He's fast as hell and he can run block. He's like a lineman that can run and catch. He's very amazing for me. Now, this card, first power up costs about 9K, right? So if, unless you have him, but he's 9K. You could probably power him up to about an 85 or 50K training, maybe 86. And then it comes to a steam diamond. Depending on the price of training right now, which is pretty low, you could potentially get this 87 and pass him up for set pass him with 700 training and end up getting an 87 George Kittle for about 50K. But if you don't want to spend more coins, you could also potentially use your power pass your 85 to 86 whatever it is and that will power pass kittle which is what i did here and he's pretty he's really solid i he's, he's, i still use him that just goes to show you how solid i think he is and there's definitely high overall tight ends i could be taking right now at this point in the game now another guy that just came out in the team of the week uh preseason he's actually really good let's see if i typed his name in right james washington right here 82 overall he has an 86 speed and 84 spec catch and 80 jumping 5 foot 11 he'd be a perfect little speedy receiver for 16k that's the best part like tyler lockett i think in my opinion might be better but tyler lockett's like more 40k james washington's like you could you could get him at a quarterback that's how cheap he is 86 speed 84 spec catch 80 jumping i think he's a solid receiver solid for a budget like not for your main receiver but as a depth like you every team needs that one speedy right like i got deandre hopkins who's like my possession receiver tory holt who's like my little mix and i got tyree kill who's just a burner like that's all he's supposed to do is just get the ball in space and run that could be james washington he could stretch the field now next in this list let's see what we got we got J jacoby myers another guy that just recently came out and i'm kind of a fan of his stats so jacoby myers let's see uh, of course i type I didn't type his name right all right i don't know if it's spelled with the i don't want to sound dumb here but i think it might be with a let's see is it yeah right here it is with the k jacoby myers wide receiver he has 85 speed 81 jumping 85 catching 81 catching traffic 85 spec catch this card is a burner like james washington except he can catch way better and his route running is not great but remember he's not a, he's not your main receiver he's your burner i think it's a solid card for about 26k you cannot go wrong with the jacoby myers card like this i think they dropped some pretty good preseason budget cards like this and now last on the list is going to be my fan favorite who well a fan favorite someone who's been on my team still to this day and in my opinion he's still the best budget player in the game philip Lindsay, 38k 84 overall 
86 speed, 83 excel, 83 agility, 84 carrying, and 79 elusiveness. This card is the perfect budget speed raw halfback. Most other halfbacks in his range, like Saquon and Joe Mixon, David Johnson, they're all good, but they only have 83 speed, which is on the slower side at this point in the game. Philip Lindsay, if you get matched up with another budget squad, Philip Lindsay will probably be faster than most players on that team. And if you get, even get, if you get matched up with a good team, like I even use on Weekend League, Philip Lindsay is a backup and he comes in all the time when Mark Allen gets tired and he gets some work done for me. Philip Lindsay is a great, great running back. To prove it to you, I still have him right here. He plays for me. Philip Lindsay is a great back. I love using him and he comes stocked with abilities, which is the best part. He gets first one free, uh, tier one ability, Homer, backfield mismatch. Backfield mismatch is pretty awesome when I do like halfback angles and I do like halfback wheels with him because that makes him better at coming out of the backfield to run routes. It kind of boosts his stats. So that kind of makes up for his uh, lack of receiving stats. And then first one free is pretty good. It pretty much increases the chance of juking someone out on your first juke. But again, it's not the easiest thing to activate, especially if he's your backup. But if he is your main, he'd probably activate it pretty easily. You've seen 10, uh, I think it's five gains of 10 yards, unless you're at home. If you're home, I think it might be less. Could be wrong. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what the homer one entirely means, but I'm pretty sure it's when you play at home, you get it easier. Now, guys, that concludes the budget the budget beast list under 50K. I hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos, comment them down below. Typically, a lot of the videos I do, I take right from the comments of you guys. You guys give me some pretty great ideas. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go down below. Smack the like button, boys. Let's get this video to 150 likes. If you made it this far, hit the like button. You won't regret it. Turn on the sub and the noti bell. Hit the sub button. Make sure to get us to 8K as soon as possible. And boys, let's keep growing. Let's keep grinding. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.